Today, with Mary, we stand at the empty tomb. Today, we rejoice in the news that Jesus is risen from the dead. Today, we allow the reality of Jesus risen from the dead to shine deeply within our hearts and to shine out of us so that those around us can realise that he is risen. Alleluia. This moment of resurrection changes everything in our lives and in our world because it brings us an unshakable hope both now and in the future. So today we have been given this tremendous news. He is risen. And anything that's important in our lives at this time, let us allow the light of the resurrection to be poured on it. Whatever our plans and our hopes, let the light of the resurrection shine upon them. Whatever our worries and our fears now and for the future, let the light of the resurrection shine upon them. Let any worries we have about life be filled with the light of Christ. For the resurrection brings hope. It brings us hope now and with whatever we face in the future. Jesus is with us, risen from the dead. And now we pray that reality will sink ever more deeply into our lives this Easter so that we can share that joy, that unshakable joy and peace with those around us. He is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. This broadcast is being made by the parish of St Cuthbert Bolton which comprises our two churches, St. Thomas of Canterbury, Heaton, and St. Joseph's, Halliwell. Today, the altar servers, children from St. Thomas of Canterbury Primary School and St. Joseph Primary School, and the parish music group celebrate the Easter message, Jesus is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, he is risen. Risen Lord, as we celebrate your resurrection today, we give you thanks for your glory. Fill our hearts with your love so that we too may renew the face of the earth. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter began to speak. He said, you must have heard about recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power and because god was with him jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil no i and those with me can witness everything he did throughout the countryside of judea and in jerusalem itself and also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree yet three days afterwards god raised him to life and allowed him to be seen not by the whole people but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead, and he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. On Easter Sunday, we celebrate Christ's glorious resurrection from the dead. Today's celebration marks the end of Holy Week and the end of Lent. All our preparations of fasting, prayer and almsgiving now culminate in our celebrations of this wonderful Easter day and the Easter season. The Gospels tell us that Jesus rose from the dead on the third day after his crucifixion, which took place on Good Friday. And his resurrection on Easter Day marks a triumph not only of good over evil, but also a triumph over sin and death. His resurrection is a fulfilment of God's promise to mankind. When the tomb of Christ became empty 
and he truly rose from the dead. The Gospel also tells us, God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Let us rejoice and be glad. Let us pray the prayer of Pope Francis. Let the risen Jesus enter your life. Welcome him as a friend, with trust. He is life. If up till now you have kept him at a distance, step forward. He will receive you with open arms. If you have been indifferent, take a risk. You won't be disappointed. If following him seems difficult, don't be afraid. Trust him. Be confident that he is close to you. He is with you and he will give you the peace you are looking for and the strength to live as he would have you do. Amen. We thank you for joining us on our Lenten journey and Easter celebration. We hope you have enjoyed our presentation and wish everyone a very happy Easter from the parish of St Cuthbert. We now finish with our final hymn and blessing from Father Chris Gorton. May the peace of the risen Christ Fill your hearts deeply at this time and bring you a peace the world cannot give. May the light of the risen Christ enlighten your life and guide you and bring you hope at this time. And may the joy of the risen Christ fill your life to brim to overflowing so that that joy you can share with your family, with your friends and with all your loved ones and all those around you. And may Almighty God bless you on this momentous time in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>